Welcome back to my channel. Um, this week I'm going to be doing, you can probably tell from the title, something slightly different. So this is a video that's going to be basically me reviewing one of the AD tours. Um, this is Adwa Aboa's house in London. I think it's South London, I'm not 100% sure. She's got really, really good style. It's very similar to Lucy Williams and Matilda Gold's uh, houses as well. Really nice big house in London. God knows how much it costs. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just talk through it and give my commentary and stuff. This is a little bit of a different video and I have taken inspiration from Paige Wassell. She always does these really great commentary videos. She's an interior designer and like prop, no, she's not an interior designer. She's like a stylist, a prop stylist. Um, she lives in Los Angeles and she always does these videos and she's got great taste and she's really funny. So. I'm obviously not going to do as good of a job of it as her, but I just thought it would be interesting to have another point of view on these kind of videos. I hope you enjoy. Take your shoes off and come in. <laughs> Living room seems quite plain walls, but actually then it's filled with loads of massive pieces of art and colourful sofas and like little trinkets and bits that she's obviously collected throughout the years, which I really like. Um, I'm not into the kind of clean modern aesthetic of like, you know, these beige homes with no personality. Like, I like to see colour. This flat, actually, for the first time, I've got a green kitchen and I absolutely love it. I'm wearing a green jumper. But I think adding colour like that, it really, you've got to live in the space. There has to be a bit of colour and personality there. So yeah, I really like it so far. I mean, I've just seen one clip, so let's see. We are now in my living room. I don't like how a room can centre around just the TV. So we decided to make a very nifty TV cabinet. So I love the TV cabinet idea. In this flat, we have, we rent this place, so there's, yeah, we can't do anything about it. But I love the idea of hiding the TV and the whole room not centering around the TV. I do think her sofas, I like when sofas face each other um, and when I get a place of my own I definitely think that's going to be a feature that I want to have if I can, if I can have rooms big enough, which she definitely does, but I guess the fireplace makes it a little bit more difficult. I would have maybe the sofas where you are maybe like facing each other and the fireplace is on the end. Um, I love that it kind of creates more of a space where people can chat and it, not everything centres around the TV, even though obviously she's got it covered with that. Um, piece of art that is just yeah something it's really different and it looks cool I like it keep a lot of the original stuff like all the banister is original the floor that you saw in the entrance love that love the old features and being able to actually keep those or kind of um replace them so like the things might be new but they look like they were intended to the, I find it a bit of an odd situation when you've got like a really um beautiful old farmhouse style building and then the interior is all kind of clean modern lines and i think modern can look really good but i think you have, always have to have a mixture um i don't like when there's no personality and kind of you've got an old property and then the interior just looks like something from a completely different time i think it looks a bit scary to be honest my interior, my interior design is called beata Heyman. Yeah. And she's mega and her lovely. I also love her lamps. I think that big blue lamp with the shade, it looks kind of like, I don't know, a bit retro, but it's got the color. It brings a lot to the walls. I think the walls are quite plain. Um, and yeah, I really like that. I found them in Paris and I thought it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Okay, so now she's talking about the fireplace in the dining room, I think. Um, I love, similar to Lucy Williams' home actually, these big fireplaces that you find in London that kind of go, or oh, you find them all over the UK in these Victorian terrace homes, which I think she's, her, it's definitely a Victorian terrace, um, where the fireplaces go up really high and you can kind of put a huge mirror above the fireplace and then kind of stack the fireplace with all these different bits and bobs that you've collected over the years. I, I love that. Um, and I just love having memories of different places where you kind of, oh, that's from when we went to Mexico last year or, you know, traveling through this country and we picked up this. It's like everything has a bit of a story, which I like. 
like these random croissants that she's talking about. Um, like really odd, but such a good talking point as well. Um, I like that. David Bowie, a picture of David Bowie, cute. I'm not so sure on the sofa. This is the kitchen, which is amazing. Again, quite similar to Lucy Williams. Oh, Lucy Williams has a blue kitchen, but I love that kind of checkerboard tile in the kitchen. Um, I'm not so much of a fan of when there's like a long galley. Is that what it's called? A galley kitchen where it goes down one side. Um, in my parents' home, back home, we have like a utility room, which is obviously the house's old original kitchen. And it goes down one side and I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of that. I kind of... I like open plan, but I like when a kitchen is a kitchen as well. Obviously this place is open plan and it is very sociable, but I do like when you've kind of got like a full kitchen, like you can kind of go between different parts to it rather than just down one wall, but love the skylights as well. I think they look really good. Cooking soufflés and currant board tiles in the kitchen. I think it looks really lovely. And then you've also, you've got a lot of seating in this place actually. There's the island with the bar stools and then there's like the big chairs, uh, sorry, the big table with the leopard print chairs. I think it's such a good mix of kind of modern and kind of English kitsch, you know, that kind of, um, oh, I don't know how to describe it. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of her items are from Glassette, which is Laura Jackson's um, brand, not brand, it's like a marketplace for homeware goods. and. They're just, everything is to die for. I would literally kick my whole house out in that stuff when, when eventually I come around to it. Not a huge fan though, I would say, of the pendant lights hanging above the island. I think she maybe could have gotten something a little bit more, I don't know, maybe something a bit different. Maybe something, yeah, something like this, where it's kind of a bit more individual and unique. You know, teak, teak, teak. And we covered these in leopard print. I love that table. I didn't want you to come into a house or for me to live in a house where everything felt like it had just been made. I think she's got such a good point there when she says everything looks like it's just been made. Like for example, our flat here, I a lot of the things are kind of more cheap, cheaply made furniture, like it, considered probably fast furniture. Um, and I'm really not a big fan of that. Obviously when you're renting and you're in such an expensive city, it's difficult to kind of just, you know, look for a completely unfurnished flat and furnish it all yourself, especially when prices are so high just now. But I know exactly what she means. I love going to like a thrift shop and a thrift shop as if I'm in America, like a charity shop. Um, in London, the British Heart Foundation ones are really good for like proper furniture. There's one in Brixton that's got beds, wardrobes, and it, it's all second hand, but you know, there's so many people in the city that are getting rid of furniture and constantly turning it over. So you can always find some good little gems in there. I kind of wish that this place had maybe come less furnished so we could maybe have put our own touches on it. Um, I do try and go to, when we're in Lewis visiting Matt's family, there it's like known for its antique shops and I just love going to have a rummage. Like, I love the gingham armchair actually. I'm a big gingham fan, as you can tell. I get what she's trying to go for with the mustard cushions and the floral print on the sofa, but I would say sitting beside the pink lampshade and the blue and the red vase, I'm, I'm not 100% sure on how that all pulls together. All I have ever wanted was a princess bed. Oh, the princess bed. I know what she means. I love the canopy and the bed. I don't know if I would have gone for so many prints, like the print on the floor and the print on the walls. I would say, I, I actually love the wallpaper on the walls and how it matches the curtains, but I'm not sure about the green carpet. I think that would be really cute in maybe like a little girl's bedroom or something, but with more of a plain wallpaper. Um, but it's all personal style, isn't it? I mean, she obviously loves the print. Um, I love the bed. Nothing really goes in this room, but I just didn't want to have something that looked like every other room you see. I love the matching curtains and wallpaper. I think that's a really good technique to kind of 
when you close those curtains, you feel like you're just in a really cozy bedroom. I also love the use of lighting in her bedroom and all of the rooms actually. She's got this really warm lamp kind of lighting going on and it just makes the place seem so cozy. Um, I'm not a fan of the big light. <laughs> you want the nice atmosphere of a cozy, warm light bulb and I think she's done that really well in this house. Certain like pink accents, accents in the bathroom so it still it kind of stayed relevant. So we're in the bathroom now. The pink is so playful and I'm glad that she can actually see her personality. She says she loves pink so she's instead of kind of being sick pink all over the walls she's just got like a few pink accents in the arches and kind of on the bath towels and things and I think it adds personality without it being like whoa this is too much and getting boring because remember you live with these things all day every day it's going to become quite boring quite quickly I think if you are in a bright pink room um again don't love the floral print on the chair in the bathroom but that's just me Mum has an old chest of drawers that she turned into a sink and so I kind of based that on this. I love the idea of putting the sink into the chest of drawers. I don't know if I would have put, maybe it's just the handles actually. Like I said, I'm not really big into the gold brass themed chest of drawers. I would have picked maybe like an older, maybe, it's, maybe it is just the handles, I don't know. I love the marble though in the back and the taps, the old taps. Gorge. And the way she styled it as well with the flowers. Flowers just make any room look more homely and it draws your eye as soon as you walk in. That's also a nice touch. It's something different. I think the bathroom can definitely be playful. Um, it doesn't have to be a completely white box, just super sterile and, you know, plain. I think it's fun that she's adding these touches of colour and um, it looks quite small though, I, I would say. Um, maybe it should be hanging a bit lower, but it does add a bit of playfulness and fun to the room. Her bath, I recognise it. I think it's from Water Monopoly. I love those baths. I would literally have this exact bath in my home if I can afford it. Um, I love that. Into my dressing room. It is over the top. So we're in the dressing room now. I would love a dressing room. I'm very jealous. <laughs> I think this is another room you can be completely playful with and not put too much thought into because I mean it's just an extra room it's not like your guests have to come and sit in it um, it's literally a place for you to dress up and be happy <laughs> okay I think this is the end now and just final clips of the room of the house I really like her house I think she's got a lot of style it's very eclectic um, it's a good mixture of colours and a bit of fun and it, you can tell a young person lives there. It's not like an old lady's house. This is like a house that's lived in, but it's got a lot of personality. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of it and I'm going to be doing more. I wasn't sure on how to set the camera up and stuff and how to record me talking. So I hope this video works out fine and I hope that it doesn't get like copyrighted on YouTube or anything. That's a bit worried me a bit. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'm going to upload another video next week. So hope you all have a lovely week. Bye.